Good morning you guys and welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful morning here and a great reminder that maybe winter's not over. It's North Idaho, so who knows? We are headed to town to pick up building supplies to start our next big project. And this is a project that I have been looking forward to for a very long time. The first question mark is, are we going to make it to town? Our hill is very slippery right now. It looks like Riley chained up the back of the truck so that hopefully we don't slide all the way down the hill. Controlled slide down the hill this morning. <laughs> Luckily, that was a two event fall, and we're down the hill. Now we'll pull the chains off and head to town. All right, we're all loaded up with building materials and ready to get started on another project. Getting building supplies in winter is so much more work. We basically have to dedicate an entire day to getting supplies just to get them up our hill. Ooh, my hands are frozen. What do you think? Are we gonna make it up the hill? I think we're gonna make it up the hill, but right now I'm mostly worried about how I get in my truck with my muddy pants on. <laughs> oh <laughs> gosh. All right, here we go. Ugh. Hill number one. Riley said he's confident he's gonna make it up this hill. But he also suggested that maybe we film it just in case, so. I don't think his confidence factor is quite as high as he's telling me. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Riley. This section of road is 22% grade. This is the section of road we have not fixed yet. And I think we're gonna need to fix it. His tracks go over here and then over here. Guys, I can't even walk on this. Where did this rock come from? Ugh. Is everything still on the trailer? We made it. It's the back of the that was out of control. <laughs> no, it was in control. No. <laughs> I'm not sure if it always looks like that when we drive up the hill and I'm just usually in the truck, but that was absurd. No, I'm pretty sure that's what it always looks like when we drag the trailer up the hill and it's covered in ice. Today we're going to expand our shop space by building a mezzanine back here, which is going to give Courtney like a real office finally. This is one of our last big projects that we're hoping to get done before baby arrives, so I am very excited about this. Step one, let's get rid of this old staircase. Riley Casey, you built that railing. Yeah, it's not very <laughs> You kind of look like Spider-Man. <laughs> Is it gonna just come crashing you down? Your help. Hopefully this mezzanine project doesn't take too long to do because we're not going to have a heater until it's done. Yeah. 
This was always just a temporary staircase until we got our outdoor staircase done. But Riley did add the railing once I got pregnant because he was worried I was gonna fall down it. So the plan for the mezzanine is that it's gonna be 16 feet wide and eight feet deep. That should be just deep enough for me to have an office, a little gym, and kind of my own space to work. There will still be a staircase from my mezzanine to get down into the shop, but it's actually gonna come over here. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to reuse this staircase or not. So we're gonna take it apart and save the pieces and we'll see. We're gonna attempt to move this thing in one piece, but it's pretty dang heavy and um, I'm not sure about this. Oops. Transmission jack stair lifterizer thing. Are you good? Yep. You still good? Uh-huh. She's going all the way. Okay, that's all the way. You don't want help? <laughs> Great, I think this is a good idea. Woo! Watch out. Where are you going? I don't know. Shockingly heavy. Now we have a door. Should we put caution tape on it? Yeah, seriously. Bailey, don't come out of that door. Sometimes I like to buy Courtney ridiculous presents, like massive army trucks and skid steers. What is that? Merry Christmas! <laughs> but other times I'm looking for something much smaller and more affordable. And that's when I found the UFO2 by Ferrell. This guy might look like a little pink hockey puck, but it's actually a supercharged at-home facial device. And while I've never been to a spa, according to Courtney, it features a bunch of technologies that you can only get at a spa, such as thermotherapy, cryotherapy, and LED light therapy. It helps skincare products penetrate the skin deeper below the surface level, leaving her skin more nourished and glowy. And the best part is it only takes 90 seconds to achieve a spa level treatment at home. And while Courtney uses it every day, I'll admit that I've given it a try a few times and it's pretty awesome. The UFO2 makes a great gift for any occasion and is sure to win you some brownie points with any skincare lover. It's like gifting a permanent spa experience right here at home. To learn more, head to the link in the description below. And thanks again to Ferreo for sponsoring this video. Spring has sprung early, it feels like. We're a little over halfway through February and the sunshine has just felt amazing. And it's been great for our solar production. But it does mean one big problem, which is that the snow is melting and that brings mud. You might remember that last year, the mud got so bad around here that we pretty much just had to leave. This is something else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the mud monster! <laughs> well, so far in this spring breakup, things have been way better this year. Our new road is actually holding up really well and we're not even dealing with mud on it. The problem that we're dealing with mud is right here, <laughs> right in front of the carport and the little patch of driveway right in front of the shop. In the fall when we were building the deck, we put a bunch of fresh dirt down in here as we built this up a little bit, and that's been a big problem. We anticipated this problem, so we added a little bit of gravel over the top, hoping that it would be enough to get us through this mud season, but pretty quickly we're learning that it's not anywhere near close enough. So today's project is that I'm gonna to try to get ahead of this problem before it turns really bad and add a bunch of big rock to this. It's gonna make it bumpy, it's gonna make it rough, but at least it's not gonna be mud. And I've got a convenient pile right down here, which is that mud slide from where the tree fell over.
it is very difficult to operate a two-handed machine and film at the same time. All right, well, it's dark, but I think I'm done. I hope I didn't actually just make the problem worse though. I'm walking around and it's still really muddy after, I don't know, 50 scoops of that rocky dirt. Man, it's a challenge once this dirt gets waterlogged. I think that's it for tonight, so see you tomorrow. Did we put that window there just for you? Carrying both was over ambitious. These are leftover pieces of steel from when we built our deck, and I think they're gonna be perfect for the posts that support this mezzanine. And by perfect, I mean that we have them. Nice patina. All right, we've got our elaborate blueprints and it's time to start cutting steel. In the spirit of using this leftover metal in this project, one of these posts actually wasn't long enough, so I'm gonna be welding two pieces together to make a longer post. This seam is actually above where the weight-bearing component of this post is gonna be, so it doesn't really matter structurally. I just need this post to be a little bit longer to help support the half wall that's gonna go around the top of the mezzanine. Courtney asked if we should make sure that it fits and I initially told her no and then it's like, you know what? Yeah, we better make sure that it fits. Oh yeah. Bam! Beautiful. No, it's stuck. <laughs> I think that we both get really used to living up here and we start taking for granted just how beautiful it is. And then we come outside, especially in winter, and it's a great reminder of why we're doing everything that we're doing. Wow. Filming the part, and then you're just standing there smiling. I was waiting for you to come shoot me. <laughs> That's gonna be something like that. Are we gonna paint it? Um. I don't know, I kind of like it rusty. I wasn't planning on painting it. <laughs> I don't want to paint it. Do you want to paint <laughs> no. it? The original plan was to have the support post right here, but the dog door has become a problem. So I think we're going to hold it out two feet and it's sort of going to be a little awkward, but the dogs will still be able to use the dog door. Have you, are you going to use the dog door? Yeah, that's my quick escape in and out. <laughs> I definitely don't fit right now. <laughs> Wait, you need an extension cord because there are no outlets over here. I know. Which outlet should I pick? Eeny, meeny, miny, no. Two down. Using some wedge style concrete anchors to anchor the posts down to the slab. That's it. <laughs> oh, <not> <laughs> <laughs> hey.
you. All right. All right, let's get some nuts on it before it falls. <laughs> Look at that. Your favorite wheel chocks. I know, these make great trailer blocks. This feels like it's going too quickly. When we did our deck project, it was sort of the first time I'd ever done anything like this where, with the steel posts and the welded brackets, but it really makes this kind of building go really quickly. This has been a little bit harder with me not being able to lift to like help Riley, so we're gonna have to be a little bit creative right now, but he assured me that he can put the beam in by himself. We'll see. I was missing a right and a left, <laughs> and I made a pair. I don't know, I'm gonna imagine you holding a beam. I think so. Okay. Here it goes. Gosh. You scared me there for a second. <laughs> Bam! Courtney, what on earth are you doing up on that ladder? Checking out my mess. Yeah, you're not allowed up there. Get down. <laughs> One ninety seven and a quarter. Does it fit? Gosh, it's cold out here. I was getting pretty cold with the door open and so Riley came to my rescue. Oh my goodness. I come bearing heat. <laughs> here there's a storm coming. <laughs> How sturdy is it? Oh, feels pretty sturdy. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't know you were gonna kick it. It doesn't move at all. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, the blocking is done, which means that we are almost finished with the floor framing. Why can't I say that? Floor framing. Floor framing. Floor framing. Which means that we are almost done with the floor framing. It is very tempting to just ignore the staircase and say, we'll come back to that someday and let's finish the mezzanine. 
but I think that if finishing the stairs now and then we'll have the stairs for getting up and down, it's gonna be worth it. So on to the staircase. So because we can get to the mezzanine from upstairs too, this is kind of just like a secondary staircase. So we made it pretty narrow, really narrow. It's going to be 24 inches wide because we really didn't want to give up a bunch of footprint in the shop. But I think we can reuse the old staircase and just cut the width down. I think we should make it 24. Are you positive that the staircase is going to fit between the metal columns? <laughs> no, should we measure? Because we can't take this siding off. 24 and a quarter. 24. Mm. It's going to be tight. Yeah, it'll fit. Okay. Probably. Famous last words. Hopefully it fits. I'm gonna rename this tool the stair jack because we've used it for more stairs than transmissions. Now it's safer. Goodness. Yeah. It's actually bigger than I thought it was gonna be. This is really exciting. I feel like we made huge progress today on this. This is awesome. I did not expect us to get this far today, which means that by tomorrow, we're gonna be ready to start shooting it and uh, we're gonna have a finished mezzanine before we know it. So with that guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Also mom, don't worry. The stairs are going to get a railing. Easy there, bud. That's my office. Riley gets this corner down here. What? You get a window and I don't? You get the whole shop. <laughs>